We are going to continue with factorizing and we are going to focus on the third factorization, difference between two squares. You will find this on page 102 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Just start here. Difference between two squares. So it will be two terms with a negative Square, square, and even numbers. Okay, so I'll, I'll do this more in detail now. Difference between two square is an expression with only two terms, also known as a binomial, in which both terms are perfect squares. And one of the two terms is negative, because difference means subtract. So the difference between two squares is an expression that looks like this. Okay, now let me show you. It must be two terms and there must be a negative in between. Otherwise, arrange it that the term that's negative stands at the back. So both the numbers, the coefficients, must be square numbers like 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 16 and 1. All the indices, exponents, must be even numbers. Do you see even, even, even? One is a square number. Remember that. So let's look at an example. Now all that you do is you create two brackets. One will have a positive in between and the other one will have a negative. And then you just basically take the square root of the first term. Now if you take the square root of the first term, that's going to be 4x. And if you take the square root there, it's a to the power 2, b to the power 3. And the same. Write that, write that. So this will be the same as this. Let me show you. This will be the same as this. This will be the same as this, just with different signs. And again, the expression had two terms. After being factorized, it has one term. Okay, I want you to stop the video. And I want you to do number A, and I want you to do number F. As soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. So let's start. Number A. If I have 25x squared minus 9y squared. Now again, remember, it's two terms with a negative in between. The numbers, they are square numbers. And the exponents, they are divisible by two, even numbers. So write your two brackets. It's a bit close. Write your two brackets. One will have a negative and one will have a positive. Better to write the positive first and then the negative. Okay, I'll show you later why. So take the square root, then this is going to be 5x. Take the square root, this is going to be 3y. And just repeat, 5x, 3y. And how can you test this? You can test this by just multiplying out and see if you get this again. Okay. Uh, then number f. So this is going to be 16x squared minus y squared over 100. Okay. Again, two terms with a negative. The numbers, there's a 116 square numbers. And the exponents, divisible by 2. So again, make your two brackets. One is positive, one is negative. Take the square root, so this is going to be 4x. And then this is also going to be 4x. And then the square root, and this is going to be y. So, yes over 10 and this is also going to be y over 10 and that's going to be again the final answer okay let's look at another example you must always check whether a bracket can factorize further let's look at this example now again write your two terms negative um, 1 and 1 square numbers 4 and 8 um, divisible by 2 so after you did this, look at this bracket. Look at this bracket. 
It's again two terms. It's again a negative in between. The numbers are still square numbers and the exponents are still divisible by two. So I can factorize this further. Not this one due to the positive. So basically I write again two brackets, one plus, one minus, take the square root, take the square root. And why can I not factorize this one further? Because there's a one. If it was an even number, yes. Okay, so I want you in this case to do number A and B. Stop the video and as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Okay, this is try now 17, so let's just clean, 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 clean. Move a little bit. Okay, and then it starts with number A. So 1, 4, minus 1. Two brackets. Oh, let's just go back. 1 is a positive, 1 is a negative. Take, oh, <laughs> yes, I could have made it smaller. Let's, let's try to cramp it a little bit. Okay, 1 is positive, 1 is negative. Square root, so it's y2, 1, y2, 1. Look, it's again two terms, again with a negative in between. And square numbers, number divisible by 2. So I can take this one and factorize it further. So I rewrite this bracket, and now I take the second bracket and I factorize it further. This is positive, this is negative. I take the square root y, 1, y, 1. And I cannot go further. And then the last one is number B. So let's look at number B. So this one is going to be A to the power of 8 minus B to the power of 12. Again, two terms, negative, square numbers, and then exponents divisible by 2. Again, make it two brackets. One positive, one negative. Take your square root. Remember, just divide by 2. A divide by 2, it's 4. Uh, B divide, six, 12 divide by 2, 6. And then check. You can factorize this further. 1, 1, and then again, even. So first always, just rewrite this one. And then take the square root, so A2 minus B, make the plus first, plus B3, and then A2 minus B3. And again, if you multiply these brackets out, you will get this answer. Okay, and then we're going to look at the final. When it's a common factor, we should take it out first. So you must always first check if you can take out a common factor and then check whether you can factorize the bracket further. So let's look at this example. So in this example, I'm just going to move it up a little bit. In this example, um, I'm, I'm going to take out three as a common, uh, a third, rather take a third, you want to get rid of the fractions. So take a third, take x3, take the highest common factor, x3, then y3 and z. And then if you divide, you get this. And if you divide, you get this. And now you can take your bracket, one positive, one negative, and you can factorize that. That is then your difference between two squares. Okay. Again, I want you to stop the video. And I want you to do, let's just see. Uh, start first with an easy one, just A, and then a fraction one. It's always good. And then maybe we can also check number two. Uh, which one will we check here? Okay, because it's just bright. Let's just do F, 2F. Again, stop the video. And as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Okay, so it's going to be 8, A3, B2, minus 
50 a to the power of 5. Now, this doesn't look like the difference between two squares. There's a negative, but that's not square numbers. So, so always start with the highest common factor. If I take out the highest common factor, then this will be, I take out 2, and I take out a to the power of 3. And then if I divide, I get 4, this is like this, b squared, and if I divide, I get negative 25, and then it will be a squared. Okay, and now it's going to be, look there, difference between two squares. Negative square numbers, um, exponents. So this is going to be, I'm just going to write it here. Uh, then you make your two brackets. One positive, one negative. Take the square root, 2b, take the square root, 5a. Rewrite, 2b, 5a. And that's my final answer. And then if I'm going to look at number f, now take always the fraction out and see what you get. So see if it's working. Sometimes it's a little bit trial and error. Okay, but let's take again the fraction out. So if I take it and I divide, so it's just x squared. And if I say negative 2 divided by half, it's going to be negative 4. And now I'm just going to say, oh, this is the difference between two squares. Two terms, square numbers, exponents divisible by 2. So I'm going to keep the half, my two brackets, one a positive, one a negative, take the square root x, take the square root 2, x, 2. And that's my final answer. Okay. And then the last one, f, let's just focus on f. Blue, we can go to blue. It's, it's just number 2f, not 1f. Okay, so in this case, it's 81, and then it's going to be a squared minus b squared, and there's my squared, minus 4c minus d, and there is my square. Okay, now if I'm going to look at this one, um, don't forget... This is two terms. Do you see that? Okay, there's a negative. Do you see that the numbers are square numbers? And if you look, there's a square and there's a square. So basically the exponents are even numbers. So basically it looks a bit complicated, but you're just going to do this. There's your two brackets. One positive, one negative. Take the square root of this. So it's going to be 9. And then take the square root, the 2 divided by 2, so it's going to be a squared minus b squared. Okay? And then it's going to be plus square root 2c minus d. Okay? And then this is going to be, repeat whatever stands there, 9a squared minus b squared minus 2 C minus D. Okay, but don't forget, oh, this looks like difference between two squares. So I can break up this two further. Okay, now you must really concentrate. So let's just get that. So that is going to be, keep the 9 and make two brackets. And then I'm just going to show you where I work. So let's just write this. And keep the 9 and make two brackets. And then minus. So if you if you were looking, I was just breaking that up into okay, I want to get, get another color. That up into two extra brackets. And that is difference between square square. So it's a plus b a minus b. A plus b. A minus B. And that is my factorize. So you must always check if, if you, everything inside the brackets are factorized. Otherwise, you must factorize further.